Hey guys, I really am sorry for being a broken record, but I'm going all in right now trying to raise these expenses for my mother's memorial services. If you don't know, I just lost my mother on New Year's Day. I am fighting to get through these couple of weeks where everything is so all about money and all about things that I just don't have right now. She did pass with no life insurance. She did pass without leaving me and my sister with nothing. My mom was the type of person to never forget a birthday. She was the type of person to make sure she went all out. I had a sweet 16. I had a 21st all at her expense. She spent everything she had to make sure I had some of the most lavish parties I've ever had in my life. And my friends and I will never, ever forget them. And Although I hate these two weeks, I hate the formalities of no more funerals. I hate the fact that everything costs money from viewing to tombstones to memorial parties. I hate that, but I'll be damned if I don't get this done and make sure that everything is to the best of my ability. Everyone keeps asking me how I'm doing and the question is, I'm not doing good and I'm not gonna be able to fully grieve until these two weeks of formalities is over. I really hate that I have to do all of these things, but I also understand that people wanna celebrate her, they wanna be in a room with me, they wanna hug me, they wanna give their condolences and to rent those spaces and create that party atmosphere is all costing money to have a tombstone and have somewhere to go and be with her and memorialize all costs money so that's what the gofundme is for the link is in the description box down below i keep telling people please don't worry if you don't have it all you have to do is a simple five or ten dollars if you do have it i'm not looking for huge donations a small donation goes a long way and if you can't donate please consider just sharing the go fund me link you might share it with somebody who might have gone through the same thing a couple years ago you might share it with somebody who has an extra for five or ten dollars so please consider that and i do again apologize that i have to get on here and do this but i have to utilize the networking and the services that i have and i and, and i built this community of love and already i have reached so much of that goal for the gofundme and i've already been able to accomplish so many of the things part one of this is done the viewing was on friday i have so many feelings about being with a body and all of that but right now i'm like set in this fast-paced business-minded where i'm trying to make sure that now the memorial party for this coming friday is perfect and up to par and a memory and an event that she always deserved. She never got a 50th big birthday party. She never got a big wedding. She wasn't married. She never got the big event that she deserved more than anything. So I'm really trying to make this memorial party on Friday specifically something big and as big as I can with many beautiful decorations and food as possible. I'm going to be creating a Facebook invite. So if you're of close friends or family and you're in my area and you want to come, please reach out to me if you want to consider bringing a dish or help in that way as well. If you can't and you're not in the area and you don't want to bring a dish and you can't contribute and you're not on social media and you can't share, don't think that your condolences and your love and saying what you feel down in the comments down below means nothing because it, it means everything. Every word, every bit of condolences, every bit of love that's being shared with me, I'm bottling into my heart and I'm holding on to it as I go through this process. Please know that you matter. Please know that I could not get through this without you. And I thank you guys so much for being on this journey and just kind of dealing with the ups and downs that I go through. I wish I can just be that full-time entertainer as I always dreamed, but like I always tell you guys, things happen. And in order for you to understand the next chapter of where I'm going, I have to include you on the chapter that I'm in right now, whether that be positive, negative, sad, or happy. So this is where I'm at right now. There's so much to be done. I'm so busy. But if you knew my mother, she was the queen of multitasking. She never let anything get in her way of getting things done. She planned all of my parties to perfection. She loved me all the way as I was to perfection. I was just so well taken care of and, and so loved. And because of that incredible bond that I had with her, I can feel her with me today. I can feel her strength inside of me, getting me through all these things, getting me through every single thing that I've been set out to do. And I know that all this will make me stronger in the end. And I just really can't wait for it to be over so I can enjoy and really, really learn to conjure and and really learn to own the strength that is now inside me that wasn't there before and i know it's with me right now helping me make all these plans and and swallow my pride and do all these videos and asking for assistance 
but I could feel her. Like, these are the things I would ask her. Like, mom, something such and so happened. Do you think I should make a GoFundMe? Do you think I should ask people for help? And she would always have the answer to those things, even down to like when I lost Todd. Do you think I should record my feelings and upload? She had the answer and gave me the approval for everything. And it's really weird because our bond was so close while she was here on earth that even those same questions that I have in my mind, I can hear the answer to. And I said to myself, I said out loud, should I do this? Should I reach out for help? Should I shift my content in a way that's in a sad, traumatic way, but I know people will see me overcome it and she said yes she said use your platform use your voice my mom was such a fan of the way i inspired people and carried on with strength and she knows that her strength was inside of me and i'm just carrying through with that i'm gonna get through this week last week was really hard the viewing was really hard i almost didn't do it i thought i was afraid but i ended up having a sense of peace when i did it and it really really helped me get some closure it was very 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 hard but i'm so glad i viewed the body i'm so glad i went in with my sister and i even spoke to the members of the private viewing from the heart and i think i kind of got a good understanding of who she was and why she's so much inside of me and why her legacy means so much and even just in that couple of minutes when i spoke out loud to that group it was so powerful and it was so beautiful and i'll be writing a real perfect speech for the party this Friday. But as like I said, right now, I'm just trying to gather all the funds and make sure I can get the decorations and the pictures and the food and everything it needs to be uh, a really beautiful event for her first. And then once I get all that done, I will be writing that speech and I'm presenting that on Friday to the guests. <sighs> it's so much. I wouldn't wish this on anybody. I cannot believe how much has to be done while you grieve. There really no, no time to grieve. So the fact that people keep asking me how I'm doing, the answer is always going to be bad until all of this is over. The viewing week is over. The party week is over. My true grieving begins the following week. I will get to be by myself and I will actually get to see how I feel and reflect on how I feel and turn that pain hopefully into something something beautiful and I look forward to that I look forward to carrying on her legacy and teaching everyone everything she's ever taught me and continuing to tell the stories and the love that's in her heart and in mine and how she showered with that though showered me with that my whole entire life I can't emphasize that enough that I would not be swallowing my pride and on here asking for help if it wasn't for the fact that this woman deserves the most beautiful tombstone the most beautiful party like and i can't believe that those things cost so much just to memorialize and have a place to grieve and have an event to get condolences to move on and grieve and the formalities that have been presented in front of us cost so much and it's so disgusting to me and i'm so sorry to anyone who's had to go through this and i'm so sorry to anyone who has to go through this in the future and please know that now that i've been through this if you ever go through this let me know and I will share your GoFundMe link. I will help you raise money because it's no one should have to go through what I'm going through right now. But I know this is going to make me stronger. I know I have love and support out there. And above all, I know that I've been doing multiple videos about how I feel and what I need to move forward. But let me just take a moment to say thank you to anyone who has sh has shared the gofundme link or the youtube video or or donated or left their condolences please know that all that matters no, no donation or share is above a condolences comment if you've left me condolences and i know i haven't gotten to all the comments but if you've left me a beautiful message about your own story or how you feel about um, my story it means so much to me as well as the shares as well as the donations so just thank you so much to everyone for being on this journey with me i promise there are lighter days after this dark and I really hope and dream that I can continue to be this guided light and this person of strength and resilience and and power for you guys to see and let me be an example of how to act when you lose the love of your life and when you go through the grieving process there is a way to channel the strength within you that is from the person that you're grieving and you can use it to move forward and it's really difficult and it's really hard but I promise that it can be done and I hope to be an example of that I love you guys so much thank you again for everything you've done everything you've said all the wishes i know we're all going to get through this together i'm really really enjoying planning this with my sister doing all this with my sister and and having someone to grieve with on a level that only her and i understand because we had the same mother and we were so aware of her love and we look forward to carrying on her legacy together and there's so much more i want to tell you guys i'll always be here to further her love and further her stories and lessons i have so much to say so much to do it's far from over but please do what you can, share the link, leave a comment, and above all,
go hug your mom, go call your mom, give her all the kisses in the world, go love your kids, whoever you love, whoever you need, whoever makes you happy, makes your heart sing, makes you feel like you can do anything in the entire world, go give them love right now. Tell them I sent you. I'll check in with you guys soon.